Rangers. You horse stealing fox. I'm waiting for you. You talk about law and order, then steal a man's property? Prepare to be gun fucked, bitches. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. attacking it. Sounded like robots to me. Might be another of those synths that killed Ace. Head back there and see if you can capture it alive. But be careful. Anything that could kill Ace isn't going to be easy to deal with. Copy? 10-4, Echo-1. Ranger Command out. Able-1 to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Able-1. 10-4, Citadel Base. Intercepted Raider transmission. Just you're about to jump somebody. We're moving in. Copy, Able One. What's your 20? Two clicks east, southeast of Corn Silo. Got it. You need backup? Negative. Punks won't know what hit him. Don't get cocky, Able One. Advise when complete. Will do, Citadel Base. Able One out.
son of the hammer will strike against the daughter of stars. Redbird will fly out of the east and destroy Vegas in the night. to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Able One. Call complete. 10-4. Raid is neutralized. No major damage on our side. Resuming patrol. 10-4, Able One. Carry on. Roger, Citadel Base. Able One out. Ralphie's in the lake. He can't swim back to shore. Please hurry. The lake is this way. Help! Help! I'm drowning! Here! Hero Ralphie's time! On the other side of Let's the go save that kid. Please, help him! Please, someone! I can't stay here. I can't swim! Hey all, this is Libby Parker. If anybody's seen my Ralphie, tell him to get his butt home. He didn't finish his chores this morning. Able One to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Able One. Call complete. 10-4. Raid is neutral. Please, strangers. My friend Ralphie's Five. in the lake. No major he can't damage swim on back to shore. Please hurry. The lake one. is this Here way. Roger, Citadel Base. Able Help. One out. I'm drowning! Are you just going Here, to stand Ralphie's by and let that boy drown? Please, help him! Please, someone! I can't I stay can't here! Help. Thanks for... Saving me, strangers. Have you seen my my friend Jesse? She couldn't save me, so she ran to get help. Uh-oh. I gotta tell my mom I'm okay. 
but I'd better go find Jesse after. She's my... my friend. We came here because no one likes to come down to the lake anymore, and we thought we could be alone. When Kekaba found out, he killed an Atchison and decorated a totem pole with his bones as a warning to the rest of them. After that, the lake went bad. Nobody knows why. The water used to be clear like glass, but something made the algae bloom like crazy, and now there's a rotting layer of sludge that sucks at you like quicksand if you fall in. I'm lucky you came by before I sank to the bottom. The Atchisons used to live in the camp with us, but Master Kekaba made them leave. They live in their own camp now, on the other side of town. Kekaba says everybody is allowed to shoot them on sight. I... I hate that rule. Be... because Jesse is an Atchison. I hope she's alright. Did you say you'd seen her? It all started with a train wreck, back when I was just a baby. I don't know what it was all about. But because the train wrecked, the Topekans hate the Atchisons, and the Atchisons hate the Topekans, and we've been fighting ever since. I think it's stupid. It's stupid because we're all the same tribe. We... we should... love each other. Instead, we kill each other. All the time. And to make it worse, now the rail thieves are killing us too. I'm so scared for Jesse. A bunch of bandits. They've set up between us and the Atchisons, and they jump anybody that passes through their territory. Now it's even harder for me and Jesse to get together. He's the leader of our tribe. He's usually in the train station, keeping an eye on the Golden Spike. All visitors are supposed to check in with him. Just don't look directly at his... Ugh. Stump. It's our most prized possession. A solid gold rail spike given to us by John Henry himself. At least, that's what my ma says. He's the railman's god. He made the trains and laid the track. The trains don't go if we don't pray to him. Bye, and thanks again.
heard what you did for my Ralphie. Thank you. I would give you gold if I had it, but all I have is this old apple. Well, I could give you my boy. I know it sounds heartless, Rangers, but I can't feed him in this godforsaken place. With the train not running, nobody around here is making a living. Taking Ralphie would be a kindness to me and him. And he's awfully handy with a slingshot. He could help you. What do you say? Will you take my Ralphie and make a ranger out of him? Oh, thank you, rangers! You've saved both of us. Now come along, Ralphie. These nice rangers are your new parents. You have to go with them now. Okay, Ralphie, just be careful. You never know where those foul Atchisons might have hidden one of their coffee can bombs. Thank you for saving my Ralphie. I'm sure he'll make a wonderful ranger. One to base. Got Atchison sneaking along the western perimeter. Looks like they're up to no good. 10 4, Chopper 1. Hang back till I get you some reinforcements. Where exactly are you at? Negative, Topeka base. Disregard, disregard. It was a couple of coyotes. False alarm. Uh, okay, Chopper 1. And, uh, lay off those squeezins for a while, all right?
This is Chief Kekaba. My choppers just found another Atchison bomb buried near the water tank. It has been defused, but there may be others. Be on your guard, Topekans. The Atchisons hate us for our quality of life, and will stop at nothing to bring us down to their level. Should be easy enough to shut that old thing down, if you have no morals.
need someone. I can't stay here. I can't swim. Thanks for the same. Have you seen my my friend? Uh oh. I gotta tell her. She's my. When Keta, the water, the Atchisons used to live. With the I hope she's all right. He's the leader. It all starts. It's our most. Pro it's he's the real. A bunch of bandits. Bye and thanks again. Thanks for saving me, Rangers. Oh, Rangers! I, I would... He's my... I know it. What do you say? Now come along. Okay, along the western perimeter. Looks like they're up to no good. 10-4, Chopper 1. Hang back till I get you some reinforcements. Where exactly are you at? Negative, Topeka base, disregard, disregard. It was a couple of coyotes. False alarm. Uh, okay, Chopper 1. And, uh, lay off those squeezes for a while, That's all right? That's big! Biggest machine I've ever seen! Damn! John Henry said to his captain, A man ain't nothing but a man. And before I let that steel drill beat me down, I'll die with the hammer. Choppers, keep an eye on the golden spike. Don't let anyone near it. Ah, Rangers, good to see you. Welcome! My people have told me how you saved the Parker Boy from drowning. It is an honor to speak to such brave heroes. How can I help you? It was the Atchison's, wasn't it? Their bombs have been killing and maiming us by the dozens. That we once considered them brothers is unthinkable. They claim we've stolen their precious golden spike, and it was never theirs to begin with. Our conflicts with them will not end until each and every Atchison hangs. I'll have one of my choppers assist the poor man. They don't rob trains. They steal rails and sell them for scrap. Now they hover above us like possums, waiting for us and the Atchisons to kill each other so they can swoop in and scrap our train cars and our locomotives. Filthy scavengers. Help with what? If you wish to help us with outside threats, then you are welcome. 
But we can handle our internal conflicts on our own, thank you. Stay out of it. His mother wishes to thank you. If you haven't already gone to see her, please do. They do not fight with honor. They sabotage and plant bombs like cowards and weaklings. It is only because I continue to hope for peace that I have not killed them all. Instead, I make examples of their worst offenders in hopes the rest will learn. The sacred golden spike was given to our forefathers before the apocalypse by the hammer god John Henry and is a symbol of our right to rule all the rail tribes. It is our most sacred relic. The Adjacents believe it is theirs alone, but they are liars and shall never have it. I am very tired of telling it, but if I must. Once the Atchisons and the Topekans worked together in harmony, but then Casey James became angry with us because he believed the Golden Spike was Atchison property and that we'd stolen it from them and grown wealthy because of it. He told his people to sabotage the rails, causing our first train to wreck. We have been at war ever since. They are my personal guard, men so loyal that they severed their left arms when I lost mine in the great train wreck. Our greatest threat at the moment is these rail thieves who have set up a hideout somewhere near the Atchison camp and who are ambushing anyone who dares travel the road between us. How are we supposed to conduct a war with our bitterest enemies when these bandits attack our war parties? It is a great inconvenience. I told you before, our private affairs are not your concern. Besides, I doubt it's possible. The first of our tribe, and the greatest. A fighter of robots and a driver of steel, who laid all the rails you have ever seen and died with his hammer in his hand, Lord, Lord. We are a peaceful people, honest traders who once crossed the wastes like gods upon our iron horse. And we will again, as soon as we have taken back from the Atchisons what is rightfully ours. The leader of the Atchisons. Once we were friends, we worked side by side, he to maintain the rails, I to maintain the trains. Now he is my enemy and uses the weapons of a coward. A quick death is too good for him. How could I steal it when it was ours to begin with? And besides, the Golden Spike is all our property, Topekans and Atchisons alike. We don't keep it in our town hall because we want to keep it out of Atchison hands. We keep it here because the hall is secure, unlike their impoverished little camp. Of course I am! I was driving that train personally, and it was not I who wrecked it. And the Atchisons didn't stop there. Now they've stolen essential parts from our second train, and we can no longer travel or trade. They have stolen our livelihood! Until the break shoe is returned, we are at war. Once we worked hand in hand with the Atchisons. We tended the trains, they tended the rails. It grieves me that we fight, and we have tried to make peace since then, but they continue their aggressions, stealing essential parts, planting bombs, and so the feud continues. Yes, to honor me and the arm I lost in the wreck. Do not think it makes them less dangerous. They can still kick your asses. The Atchison's greatest sabotage. They smashed the ties and our train derailed. I was driving that train and lost my arm in the wreck. Now I can never drive again. I will never forgive the Atchison's for that. The display case is locked, and my choppers are on guard at all times, and will attack anyone who attempts to take it. No. We will get it back on our own. We do not 
require outside assistance. They do not. Another reason I still try to make peace with them. We haven't the skill to fix the rails, and it will take time to learn. We keep hoping the Atchisons will stop their atrocities and return to the bargaining table so that we can work together again. But it doesn't seem to matter how many of them I hang. They still won't see sense. It's impossible. Even the strongest man needs two arms to drive a train. Now that is the true spirit of the Desert Rangers. Protecting the wastes from lawless scum. Not telling law-abiding citizens how to solve their problems. Thank you, Rangers. I would welcome your help in this matter. Keep out of our business, Rangers. Another visit, Rangers? These fools, cutting off their noses to spite their faces. Atchison's, Topekans, I see no difference, they're all idiots. An apology from both sides, and Arizona has a railroad again. But they just this is Chief can't. Tekaba. My children just found another Atchison bomb buried near the water tank. It has been defused, but there may be others. Be on your guard, Topekans. The Atchisons hate us for our quality of life, and will stop at nothing to bring us down to their level.
Watch yourself in this place. The guy who runs it is, uh, touchy. Fools, cutting off their noses to spite their faces. Wonder if they ever have bar fights in here. Should be easy enough to shut that old thing down, if you have no morals. Why won't you listen? Why won't you give up? I promise you, there is no Verkaiten armor. It does not exist. 